Welcome back to school, St. Philip family. Oh, and a special welcome to those who are joining us today for in-person instruction for the first time this year. Welcome home. We're so happy to see you and to have you back with us. And we hope to see your schoolmates who are joining us from home really soon in the building too. You know, we have reached the halfway point in our school year and it's about time we take a look at the things we have been doing, what we're doing now, and what we need to do to move forward. I think it's safe to say that we've done a pretty good job with distance learning since we began virtual classes nearly a year ago. And though I'm really proud to say we're the first school in the area and one of the first schools in the entire archdiocese to go directly to distance learning and virtual classes when um, campus closed a year ago, we've had to overcome some pretty you know, substantial difficulties. You know, no one is perfect. And although we, we, although we did a really good job, there were some things that we had to work our way through, so to speak. Uh, most of them had to do with technology. And, you know, things don't always work out the way you want them to, especially where technology is concerned. And I imagine that they will pop up from time to time moving forward as long as we're in distance learning. But other difficulties came from being at home, from being very comfortable in our home environment, from feeling isolated and not being able to be with friends and not being able to be with your teachers in person. Many of your parents have had to become teachers and others have had to continue working while you're at school, at home by yourself. They've had to rely on you to be responsible, um, responsible enough to get yourself up in the morning and to log into your classes on time and keep up with your schoolwork. This has been really hard. I know it can be very difficult. It's not easy for any of us. I struggle with it too. But you know, boys and girls, one thing we've never felt is that you are not able to succeed, even with all the changes we've had to make uh, by, by way of bringing you your education. While we've tried very hard to figure out ways to bring you your lessons so that they're interesting and even fun, we never thought that you were unable to learn from home. We've always known you were, you've been capable of doing it. We knew it would be hard, but we also knew that if you put your best effort into it, you'd all be successful. Now it's time for you to prove us right you know what I mean. Ask yourself this question and be honest with yourself. Ask yourself, have I been doing my absolute best in my classes? With getting to class on time? How about with doing homework and turning it in on time? Have I tried my best have I given 100%? If you cannot truly answer yes to these questions, and I mean truly, then now is the time to start working on changing that. We only have a few months left before the end of the school year. This time is flying right now. And before you know it, final report cards will be coming out You'll be looking to move up to the next grade. And 12 of you will be graduating and leaving us to move on to high school. Now's the time to refocus and make the best of these last months of the school year. We can't do anything about what's going on in the world right now. We can't wish away the pandemic and we can't act like it's business as usual either. What we do have to do is dig deep within ourselves and pull out that perseverance 
and that diligence I'm always talking about. What we can do is not let this pandemic change us, so we stop trying. We want to take a real hard look at what we've done, what we're doing now, and what we need to do moving forward. Have you done everything you could do to succeed? Can you say you've given 100%? Some of you can, some of you can't. Everyone should. I know there are things that I could do better and I am now promising to try. Everyone should. Look inside yourself for the strength to persevere. Look to your families for support with your homework, with your studies, with lessons that you're finding it difficult to understand. Look to your teachers who are always willing to help you if you just ask. All you have to do is ask. We're here. Look to each other for moral support. Your friends, your parents, your siblings, and us, your teachers. Help each other succeed. And most importantly, look to God for strength when you feel weak. Confidence when you feel uncertain. And comfort when you feel alone. Because God wants us to call on him. And when you do, when you do this, you're doing his will. And he's there. If you call upon him, he's there and he will help you. For this reason, we say, as we always do, that nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible for you if you always remember to seek God in all things. Have a great week, St. Philip Scholars, and may God continue to bless you and keep you safe.